there, good looking. Join me for this 22 minute body weight cardio workout. Listen, this workout is for all levels of fitness. I'm going to show low and high impact options as well as an osteoporosis friendly ab exercise because not only will this workout get the heart rate up, this is also going to really hit your abdominal muscles. Now, if you can stick around to the end of this workout where I've added on some auxiliary work. Now this auxiliary work is a focusing on helping you perfect your push-up. So if that interests you, then stick around for the whole workout. And this is also day two of our Ignite Challenge. All right, let's go get warmed up. All right, before we get started, if you have a fitness watch on, hey, turn that baby on. Okay, let's get warmed up. We're gonna start with a squat pattern, warming everything up and just getting the joints ready for the workout. Situate your feet about shoulder width or a bit wider if you find that that's more comfortable for your hips. Toes turned out, push the bum back, squeeze the glutes and drive on up again. So when we squat, our knees are gonna track with our toes and our bum is going rearward. Like we're almost gonna sit in this pretend chair. We're sinking down as deep as we can and always working with what feels best though for the joint and for this exercise in particular, your knee joint. So we have four different exercises, two circuits in each. Um, yeah, we're gonna rotate through those for three rounds, 30 seconds of work, 15 second recovery. And as I said, it's gonna get our heart rates up, but there's a lot of ab work in this too. Let's do two more here, two. And one. All right, let's dynamically get into those hamstrings. I want you to step forward with the right foot. Reach the arms up, scoop down, drive up, left foot. Scoop, push the hips rear, drive, good. So just keep alternating. We're dynamically stretching the hamstrings here, which is what we want to do for a warm up. is a dynamic stretch, not a static and hold stretch. We'll save all that for after the workout. Good. Up, push the hips back. Good, two more. Up, reach it up. Good, one more. Up, reach it up. Excellent. Take yourself to one side of the mat for me. I want you to sink down into a bit of a squat and let's do two side squats and then back. And let's stay in this position for about 30 seconds, getting into those hips and glutes. Yes, if you're part of the Ignite Challenge, oh my goodness, this is a good one to complement what we did yesterday. And then again, challengers, make sure you stick around to do the Perfect Your Push-Up, or I've time stamped it in case you are running short on time and you wanna just pick it up maybe near the end of your day. You can just take a look in the description and where to find it in the video. Last one, good job. Find yourself in the center of the mat, push the bum back and step it out. So when we do this side lunge pattern, we want toes, knees, hips, shoulders to me. Again, just like our squat, we're pushing the bum rearward. Picking up the tempo a little bit. We're getting close to the start of the workout, so we want to get those heart rates up there. Four more. Good job, and low impact jumping jack, tapping it side to side, arms coming to shoulder height. If you're okay with impact, let's go right up here. Try to really step out wide with those legs too, getting those hips warmed up. In five, four, three, two, one, march it out. All right, if you need a sip of water, go for it. We're about to start in about 20 seconds, our first exercise, and it's one, two, three, up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, if you wanna do low impact, that's how it goes. You don't do the jump, but I encourage you to give it a try. And we're gonna stick it there on that third one so we work our balance, all right, and a little bit of coordination. You ready? Let's get started up. Here it goes, it goes one, two, three, up, one, two, three. 
great job. So again, try it even if you're not usually, you don't usually choose the high impact version of moves. It's just a little shuffle, but it's that knee and hold, working the balance, getting the core fired up. Last three, two, one, and down. All right, we're gonna take it into mountain climbers for four, and then two rows. So, wrists under shoulders, screw your hands into the ground. You have four of these, and then you can go on the knees to modify, and bring the elbows up for a row. So let's give it a try. We go four, three, two, one, on the knees to modify, otherwise stay with me. Lift your left arm up, elbow up, right arm up, and back to the top with mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one, row it. Four, three, two, one, row it. Good, one more time. And come into a standing position. Whew. Don't worry, we got two more rounds of that, so you'll perfect that. Moving into skaters, you can take it as big of a jump as you'd like, or you can tap it if, again, you don't like impact. But I want you to see if you can pause again on that single leg. So pushing off, driving through the leg. Good. Whew. Landing with that bent knee. Ten more seconds, and then we go back to the mountain climbers, but instead of rows, we're going to do two push-ups. <laughs> Time. All right, so it's four mountain climbers, and then two push-ups. The push-ups can be from the toes, or maybe join me. I'm going to do them from the knees. Let's start with the four mountain climbers. Wrists under shoulders. Screw the hands into the ground. Now mountain climber for four, three, two, one, push up. Now remember your push up. You want your elbows going towards the back of your mat. Head is looking up. And you're gonna drop your body down as one solid unit. See if you can get your chest all the way to the ground. This is our last exercise. We take it back to the top. Time right here, okay? So march it out, moving into round two. So it's one, two, three, and we hold, okay? Again, try a little bit of the impact for me. Ready, set, one, two, three, hop. And then we pause that knee, yes. Move those arms. Great job. Now we know it's coming. We've done all the moves one time. So now, this second round, let's see if we can pick the tempo up a bit. Time, all right. Four mountain climbers, two rows. And again, your rows can be from the knees if you're not comfortable being on the toes for them. Let's get those wrists under shoulders. Screw the hands into the ground. Nice long line, go. Four, three, two, one, row it. Good, now take a look at the top of your mat. Four knees in, what we call mountain climbers, and then keep those hips quiet, lift each arm up for that row. We're standing in less than 10 seconds. Time. Come on up. All right, skaters. So we can step it, or maybe you're gonna join me and make it a little bit more athletic. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Bring it, stick it. Try to land soft. Good. Feel those hips sink into it. Come on. Keep that intensity, time. Okay, now it's four mountain climbers, 
two push-ups. You want those push-ups looking good. Elbows are pointing to the back of your mat. Head is looking up. Ready? Four mountain climbers, go. Knees or toes, two push-ups. Less than 10 seconds. Time. All right, we're standing. Oh, I blew shoelace. So we've got one, two, three, hold. Coming up in less than 10. These things always come undone. It's annoying. I used to train some clients <laughs> and they would purposely not tie their shoes up very tight so their shoelace would come undone during our session so that they could take a break to retie their shoelace. <laughs> oh, I had the best clients. So yeah, I clued into that one pretty darn quick. So they were allowed one shoelace retie per session. <laughs> All right, four mountain climbers, two rows. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, give me four mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. You can do the rows on the knees. Keep the gaze up, okay? Standing in three, two, one, and up. I think I better double knot these. I'm turning into my clients. <laughs> All right, we've got skaters. You can step it with that slight pause. So we work the balance or turn it into a more athletic drill with me. Skating, good. Cutting across, great. Last time through. Come on. Mountain climbers to push-ups in 15 seconds. Come on, crew. Woo. All right. One more exercise. We'll grab a quick sip of water, and then we move into a new circuit, okay? So, four mountain climbers, two push-ups. In three, two, one, and go. Take the gaze up. Hands are just a little wider than the shoulders. When you come down, your head and your elbows, you should look like the top of an arrow. So don't have those elbows splaying out. You can also go on your knuckles, so on your fists, if you find this irritating on the wrists. All right, 30 second breather. Come into a standing position, grab a quick sip of water. Please keep moving those feet. Okay, we have pop squats. So I'm gonna be doing the high impact version, but the low impact is stepping out side to side. Okay, so you choose. Do the step out or join me. You ready? Three, two, one, down. Now maybe your hand all the way to the ground isn't available to you, it's here, all right? This pop squat is a safer sort of jump squat idea than actual jump squats. So if you don't normally do an impact squat, maybe give it a try. We're going out wide, toes and knees tracking. Time, Whew. march it out. All right, do you remember those side-to-side -side lunges and warm-up? Of course you do. <laughs> You're probably saying, no, I don't, PJ. <laughs> I don't even remember my name sometimes. I hear ya. All right, mirror me, step it out, reach across. 
other side. So we're reaching across, we're getting down there by hinging to the hip and getting that good knee and hip hinge there, not back, not your low back rounding. Now, if you wanna pick it up, you can add that little hop here. You see that? Again, all options for you. Less than 10 seconds, we're heading down on the mat for a couple of ab drills. One more here. All right, we have flutter kicks now. It's safe for every level of fitness and osteoporosis. Let's get down, hands under the bum for me. Whew. Osteo people, you keep your head and shoulders on the mat. Everyone else, I want you to roll up, extend the legs, and flutter those legs. Now, if this is absolutely killing you, I want you to lift the legs up, okay? Bring them up, and if you don't have osteo, lift the upper body as well. All right? You wanna feel the abs? Yes. We've got one more ab drill after this. In three, two, one, release. All right, now we're doing a double crunch. For those of you with osteoporosis who don't like to flex their spine, I want you to sit up nice and tall and give me a V-sit and lift the legs if you're able to. Otherwise, everybody else, hands behind me. Ready, knees in, extend everything out. So we're extending the legs, dropping the upper body. This is the last exercise in the circuit and we take it back to those pop squats. Time, Woo. oh Lord. I absolutely hate that exercise. I keep programming it, thinking I'll eventually like it, but so far it's been like 30 years of hating it. <laughs> All right, pop it, jump or no jump, go. <laughs> I'll keep trying. <laughs> Land soft, drop it down, come on. Good, now head up, chest up. So, this last circuit, okay? We have three rounds of these and then we're done. So come on. One more. Woo. All right, side to side lunge. We'll start out with the no jump and then I'll add that little jump in the center if you wanna join me. Start in the center of your mat. Step out this way, three, two, one, go. Either side. Good, bum goes rear. Toes, knees, hips, shoulders to me. Now you can add that hop. Flutter kicks coming up. Time. Woo. All right, so. Remember your flutter. If you're able to, I want you to roll the head and the shoulders off your mat. Hands underneath the bum. Straighten those legs. Flutter. Look at those toes. Tighten that flutter. The lower, the closer to the floor you are, the lower you are, the harder it is. So adjust accordingly. We're switching it up in three, two, one, and up. All right, you have your V-sit option, making sure you don't round that back, or join me in my favorite double crunch. Remember, this is the one I absolutely love. I do it every day and even on Christmas. Go. <laughs> and double time on my birthday. <laughs> Time. 
All right, crew, one more round. Come on up. Whew. We're popping with that squat. If you haven't tried the higher impact, maybe try it on this last set. You never know till you try. Head up, let's go. You drop it down as low as you can. Remembering that this is a lower body exercise, not a strain your low back exercise, okay? Good job. Last three, two, one, march it out. Woo. All right, we're side to side lunging. I'm gonna start my hop right away in the center. Again, that is optional. So find your center of your mat, your mirror me. We're stepping out this way first. Three, two, one, go. Again, toes, knees, hips, shoulders to me. So we're not twisting to the leg as it's bending. Still keep everything squared to your screen. My legs are a little tight from yesterday's workout. How are you feeling, challengers? <laughs> Time. <Whew. laughs> All right. Flutter kicks. Last two moves. Whew. Here we go. Hands under the bum. Let's do that pelvic tilt. If you're able to, roll the head and shoulders off. Legs straight. Flutter. Stay fairly straight in the leg, just moving through the hip. Time. Woo. All right, double crunch, or perhaps you're holding the V-sit. If you're holding that V-sit though, don't let that low back around, stay lifted. If you're with me, hands down, everything in and everything out, one. Time, whoo, oh boy. Yeah, I still hate that one. <laughs> All right, come on up and march it out. It's okay to not like an exercise, you guys. <laughs> Grab a sip of water. We're gonna bring the heart rate down a little bit before we move into the auxiliary work that I was telling you about. If you're part of the Ignite Challenge, this is 15 days of perfecting your push-up. If you've just randomly shown up on this video after we've posted it for the challenge, then guess what? You're joining us. <laughs> All right, let's do a couple of deep breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, arms come down. I love that one, it just kind of settles you. Here we go, inhale, bend the knees. Big breath into the nose. Exhale, take it out through the mouth. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Good, now if you have to take off on me, have a great rest of your day. We've time stamped where the push-ups start in the description down below. So I want you to pick up sometime today when you can. Again, it takes less than five minutes, all right? And you'll be so darn proud of yourself when you get it in. Otherwise, those of you that are joining me, make sure you have a mat if you're on a hard surface. Okay, for day two of Perfect Your Push-Up, just a quick recap. Remember when we do a push-up, we're keeping the whole body as a solid unit. It's a moving plank. Second, your arms are extended, you're screwing the hands into the ground so we fire up your lats and the serratus anterior muscle around the rib cage. You want just the 
thumb area here, just underneath the armpits. Your hands are slightly wider than the shoulders. This is me coming down in my push-up. My elbows and my head form the shape of an arrow when I'm down there, and I go all the way down, and then I push back up. That's how a push-up looks. We're starting with protraction and retraction. If you're with me for yesterday's workout, day one, it's the same thing. If you're unfamiliar with this, we're just strengthening into that serratus muscle I briefly mentioned about, as well as into your shoulder girdle. These are really important muscles to, to keep strong so that our shoulders don't get wrecked when we do push-ups. So let's get into a modified plank. Spread the fingers. You can also be on your fists if being weight-bearing on the hands bothers the wrists. I want you to think about screwing two jars into the ground if you're on the hand zone. That's going to fire up those lap muscles. Good. Now everyone's going to stay on their knees for this. Yesterday I gave an option of going on the toes. I want you to stay on the knees. Now keeping the chin tucked in, push the ground away and separate the shoulder blades. Now let the shoulder blades come together. So we're doing this, do it again, this motion without moving the head or the hips. So if you have access to a mirror to take a look at your form, that would be great. If you have somebody in the house with you, maybe ask them, are you keeping your head and your hips still? We just want to feel the shoulder blades, pull apart, protract, come together, retract. You should be getting a little warm in that upper back, shoulder, maybe even in the neck region a bit. We have two more. Last one. And release. All right, shake out the wrist. Yesterday we did negative push-ups. Today we're doing five positives. So that means that we're pushing ourselves up and I'm going to encourage you as a straight arm plank. Pause it at the top and then get ourselves down however we want. So we're only gonna care about one part of the push-up today, and that's from the ground up. So let me show you what that looks like. Coming onto the ground, screwing my hands into the ground, tucking my toes, gaze is just above the mat. Now I'm going to either stay on my knees and push my body up as a unit, or stay on my toes and push everything up slowly, Push the ground away, protract, hold, and then we'll just come down onto the knees and lower down again. We have five of those. All right, let's get set up. So it's five, so see if you can try from the toes, but what I don't want you doing is, take a quick peek, is pushing up like that with your hips sagging. It's uber important that we keep the body one solid unit. Here we go. Screw the hands into the floor from the toes or knees. Gaze is just above. Now we're gonna take it up nice and slow and then hold it up there for a few breaths. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, push up for three, two, one, hold. Keep holding. We're pushing those shoulder blades apart, protracting, holding that protraction. And now down on the knees. Okay, so now let's get set up for number two. Ready? and press. Three, two, one. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Gaze is at the top of your mat. Tightening everything. And drop the knees. Lower down. All right, here we go, number three. Oh, that's hard, isn't it? I'm just barely keeping that straight line off my toes. Time. All right, so these last two for me, I'm gonna stay on my knees because I can feel my hips start, start to drop. So let's take it all the way down. Ready? Keep that solid plank, lift it up for three, two, one. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Now, if you were on your knees, let's come off of the knees, high plank and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees. All right, last rep. Here we go, gaze at the top of the mat. Screw the hands into the mat. Important that you think about all these little things so that they become, um, they muscle memory your, them into your brain whenever you do a push-up. Ready? Press up for three, two, one. 
off of the knees, hold for five, four, three, two, one, drop down, shake it out. So there you go. There was your day two of perfect your push up. All right, so how about we stretch ourselves out here? Let's take the left knee on the mat, right leg out, lunge into it a little bit, tuck in the tailbone, interlace the hands, bring them behind the head, let the head drop back and the elbows open up. So we're stretching into the chest while we get into that left hip and thigh. Great job, let's do the other side. We'll do the same chest stretch though, okay? So now, left knee, or sorry, right knee under hip. Lunge into a bit, squeeze that right glute. Interlace the hands, lunge forward slightly, open up the elbows. Lift your gaze, your chest up towards your ceiling. And breathe. And release, come on to your side. Doesn't matter which side, we'll do each. Take the top heel to your bum, pull the knee back. And now let's take that bottom foot and hook it on the outside of that top leg. Stretching into the quad, into the IT band, into your TFL muscle, right in that front of the hip there. Just let your head drop on that bottom arm. And let's take it to the other side. That's Bella. <laughs> I have two dogs if you're not familiar with me. <laughs> Here we go, drop down into that bottom arm. Pull that heel towards the bottom. Now take that bottom leg and hook it in the outside of that top leg. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a nice stretch too in the front of my shoulder as I hold on to my leg. All right, final stretch. Let's get into some low back extension, which will work into our back while we stretch our abs. It's nice and easy, elbows under shoulders, wrists lined up with the elbows, drop the belly and hips, look up. Just let that floor support you in the hip area while you encourage that low back of yours to extend. And then big toes together, knees are open, sit your bum back. Hands are wider than the shoulders, maybe even mat width. Arms are straight, forehead to mat if you can, stretching through the sides of the body, your low back, your glutes. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. If you're part of the challenge, please drop a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button so we can keep sending workouts your way. And then click that like button, everybody, so this workout can get found by others during because of the YouTube algorithm. That's just the way YouTube works. <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you next workout. Bye.